If 500 rupees amounts to 768.8 rupees in two years compounded annually, find the rate of interest per annum. Principal is equal to 500 rupees, amount is equal to 768.8 rupees, time n is equal to two years. Amount is equal to principal into 1 plus rate by 100. Whole power n. 768.8 is equal to 500 into 1 plus r by 100 whole square. 768.8 by 500 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 whole square. 7688 by 5000 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 whole square. Multiplying numerator and denominator of left side of equation with 10 to remove the decimal point in the left side of the equation. As the denominator in the right side is a multiple of 100, we convert the denominator of the left side into a multiple of 100 by multiplying numerator and denominator in left side with 2. 15,376 by 10,000 is equal to 100 plus rate divided by 100 whole square. 124 into 124 divided by 100 into 100 is equal to 100 plus rate divided by 100 whole square. 124 by 100 whole square is equal to 100 plus rate divided by 100 whole square taking root on both sides 124 by 100 is equal to 100 plus r divided by 100 124 is equal to 100 plus rate rate is equal to 124 minus 100. Rate is equal to 24 percentage. 500 rupees amounts to 768.8 rupees in two years when compounded annually at 24 percentage. Let us see another example. If 500 rupees amounts to 819.20 rupees in two years compounded annually, find the rate of interest per annum. Principal is equal to 500 rupees, amount is equal to 819.20 rupees, time n is equal to two years. Let the rate be rate percentage per annum. Amount is equal to principal into 1 plus rate by 100, whole power n. 819.20 is equal to 500 into 1 plus r by 100 whole square. 819.20 by 500 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 whole square. 8,190 by 5,000 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 whole square. Multiplying numerator and denominator of left side of equation with 10 to remove the decimal point in the left side of the equation. As the denominator in the right side is a multiple of 100, we convert the denominator of the left side into a multiple of 100 by multiplying numerator and denominator in left side with 2. 16,384 by 10,000 is equal to 100 plus r divided by 100 whole square. 128 into 128 divided by 100 into 100 is equal to 100 plus rate divided by 100 whole square. 128 by 100 whole square is equal to 100 plus rate divided by 100 whole square. Taking root on both sides. 128 by 100 is equal to 100 plus rate divided by 100. 128 is equal to 
100 plus rate. Rate is equal to 128 minus 100. Rate is equal to 28 percentage. 500 rupees amounts to 819.20 rupees in two years when compounded annually at 28 percentage. Let us see another example. If 500 rupees amounts to 627.20 rupees in two years compounded annually, find the rate of interest per annum. Principal is equal to 500 rupees, amount is equal to 627.20 rupees, time n is equal to 2 years. Let the rate be rate percentage per annum. Amount is equal to principal into 1 plus rate by 100, whole power n. 627.20 is equal to 500 into 1 plus r by 100 whole square. 627.20 by 500 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 whole square. 6272 by 5000 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 whole square. Multiplying numerator and denominator of left side of equation with 10 to remove the decimal point in the left side of the equation. As the denominator in the right side is a multiple of 100, we convert the denominator of the left side into a multiple of 100 by multiplying numerator and denominator in left side with 2. 12,544 by 10,000 is equal to 100 plus rate divided by 100, whole square. 112 into 112 divided by 100 into 100 is equal to 100 plus r divided by 100, whole square. 112 by 100, whole square is equal to 100 plus r divided by 100, whole square. Taking root, on both sides. 112 by 100 is equal to 100 plus r divided by 100. 112 is equal to 100 plus rate. Rate is equal to 112 minus 100. Rate is equal to 12 percentage. 500 rupees amounts to 627.20 rupees in two years when compounded annually at 12 percentage.